Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I want to discuss Diddy's lawyer, Mark Agnifilo's actions. I was saying last week that he's either having a hard time with the case. I mean, it is a hard case. This case is insane. So he's either having a hard time with the case or he's sabotaging Diddy because his actions, it just makes no sense. Listen, Mark Agnifilo's actions are so bad that today it was reported that Diddy hired two new lawyers, okay? That's how bad that Mark Agnifilo is. And he's supposed to be a top-notch lawyer. I don't know. Either he's having a hard time with this case because any lawyer who takes on this case is going to have a hard time. Or maybe Mark Agnifilo just want to be famous because this guy is everywhere. He's being interviewed. We're going to talk about all of that. Okay, so first, let's talk about Diddy's bail package. That bail package was terrible. It was so bad that even the government did not take him seriously. Diddy's bail package mentioned things like, He's only going to fly to his homes, like, you know, L.A., New York, Miami, you know. And he said he would not have no women over. Only his family members would be coming over. And he would go, you know, to doctor's appointments. And he would take, you know, urine tests as if people cannot give him urine tests so he could pass his D-R-U-G test. Come on. Who is he fooling? And the, the thing is, he never, in the bail package, he didn't mention anything about being, you know, working on what he's planning to do to become a better person, what he's working on to fix things. He didn't mention any of that. It was just like, oh, I'm just going to stay home. When I need to fly, I'll fly. Only my family going to come over. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Nothing about what he's planning to do to fix things, what he's going to do, you know, to become a better person, things like that. He didn't mention any of that, right? So, and the only another thing, too, I've learned that when he put up that $50 million mansion, do you know all the proceeds that Diddy made in the course of the past 15 years or so, like since 2008, all of the proceeds are subject to forfeiture, which would include the house he was trying to put up. <laughs> so it's like, you want to put up the house that you're about to lose, that they are about to get anyway. You know, so it's like, how is that the house you're about to lose is going to be the thing that gets you to get back to court? I mean, come on, make it make sense. And he mentioned uh, his family surrendered their passports. That's BS. His family did not surrender anything. His family gave Diddy's lawyer, Mac Agnifilo, the passports to hold on to. So you see, you see the BS that they are pulling while trying to pull? Because Mark Agnifilo works for you, Diddy. He works for Diddy. So it's nothing for him to give you the passport when and if you ask for it, right? And who gives a damn? Diddy owns a private jet. You don't need no passports. This guy owns a huge plane, okay? So what passport would he be needing? So these people think people are dumb. They're just, I don't know. But Mark Agnifilo, he did another mistake, right? So when he was denied, when Diddy was denied bail the first time, they went back the second day, the very next day. They didn't change anything. They didn't add anything. They did it again. And that's why they were denied again. How do you do two bail packages back to back? He didn't even wait. He didn't say, okay, you know, he didn't even wait. The same stuff on the first bail package was on the second bail package. The very next day, nothing changed. <laughs> so that was stupid. Another big mistake I believe that he made when Mark Agnifilo gave an explanation for the 1,000 bottles of baby oil that was found at Diddy's house. 
So when the feds raided Diddy's homes in Miami and Los Angeles in late March, they found 1,000 bottles of baby oil and other lubricants, and they found, you know, freak off supplies. They found 700 dill dose. Yeah, that's crazy. And his celebrity guest list included Hollywood A-listers like Leonardo DiCaprio. I did a video on him earlier where he denied being at these freak-off parties. He said the last time he was at a Diddy party was 20 years ago. But that's a lie because there are pictures of him at a Diddy party in 2019. That was not long ago. So you see, they are lying, lying lying so make sure you check out that video from earlier okay so diddy's lawyer mark agnifilo says there's a simple explanation for all those bottles of baby oil he claims diddy buys baby oil in bulk from costco he said there is a costco close to every house combs owns <laughs> he said I don't know what you need a thousand for. One bottle of baby oil goes a long way. I mean, he has a big house. He buys in bulk. You know, I think they have Costco's in every place where he has a home. Have you sat in a parking lot of a Costco and see what people walk out of there with? <laughs> That's what he said. You believe this? <laughs> and then he said, I don't think it was a thousand. Let's just say it was a lot. <laughs> and he also claims Diddy's infamous freak off parties were just intimate threesomes between Diddy, his ex girlfriend Cassie, and a third individual. Really? Check out these clips, you guys. They call them freak offs. But, you know, back when I was a kid in the late 70s, they were called threesomes. If these are genuinely threesomes, how do you explain a thousand bottles of baby oil? I don't know where the number a thousand came. The U.S. attorney said it. I can't imagine it's thousands. I mean, you know, and, and I'm not really sure what the baby oil has to do with anything. They're essentially saying it's a lubricant for an orgy. I guess. I, I don't know what you need a thousand. One bottle of baby oil goes a long way. I don't know what you need a thousand for. I mean, he has a big house. He buys in bulk. You know, I think they have Costco's in every place where he has a home. I mean, have you sat in, a, in the parking lot of a Costco and see what people walk out of there with? Not a thousand bottles of baby oil. I don't think it was a thousand. I think it was, I think it was, let, let's just say it's a lot, okay? And what makes this even worse, a spokesperson for Costco says none of the company's U.S. locations carry baby oil. So yeah, they don't carry baby oil and they don't carry body oil. They don't carry body baby oils, okay? So Mark Agnifilo, he just cannot shut his mouth. There was no need to even comment on that. And he even tried to lie and say the freak-offs were not orgies with dozens of people. They were just threesomes. Him, Cassie, and one other person every time. Yeah, okay. He just can't seem to stop putting his foot in his mouth. Mark Agnifilo is, he loves attention, pretty much. He loves attention. He's everywhere. He's on TMZ, new documentary. Talking about Diddy. Diddy this, Diddy <laughs> This is crazy. I've never seen a lawyer talk this much, run their mouth this much. The lawyer is on a documentary and the trial did not even start yet. And he's, <laughs> oh my gosh, this lawyer doesn't care. He's getting paid every day. He's getting paid. And then in one of the uh, uh, clips, he's like, oh, yeah. I'm about to go see him, you know, and talk to him for a few hours after I leave here. What? <laughs> this lawyer doesn't give a damn. He does not give a damn. And then he put out another statement. He said that he's remaining remarkably positive and isn't letting the indictment weaken his resolve. He says Diddy is so focused on his defense, it's actually giving him a form of strength and confidence that will help him deal with behind the bars of an extended period. And he wants to testify. He's going to like all these crazy stuff. Like, why do we need to know all of this? Oh, my gosh.
He said Diddy can't wait to testify in court in his own defense. He said Diddy is willing to be cross-examined by a federal prosecutor in court. This is going to be a show. But the thing is, federal cases, there are no cameras. And this is a federal case. So there will be no cameras. So I don't know how we're going to, to see anything. I mean, there will be people reporting but I was hoping for a show because Diddy being cross-examined and listen, cross-examination is no joke. Okay. If you are a liar, you are going to, you're going to fall. If you are a liar and you are being cross-examined, oh yeah. Oh, it's going to be brutal. It's going to be brutal. <laughs> and we know that he's a liar, a well-known liar. A pathological liar. Okay, so the last thing I want to mention. Listen, Diddy's lawyers suck. He is so terrible. He doesn't know what to do with this case. No, okay, maybe, maybe he doesn't suck. I'll take that back. Because they say he's a you know top notch. But I think it's because Diddy's case is so bad. This guy is such a monster. That this lawyer is just like, he's throwing anything at the wall hoping something sticks you know now he's saying that the feds is trying to take down a successful black man so now race is involved okay race is a major factor in this case <laughs> oh, i can't this lawyer is draining oh my gosh dude just just step down step down from this case Okay, clearly you don't give a damn. You're getting paid every day, okay? <laughs> this guy's making millions off of Diddy. <laughs> you know, Diddy's a uh, lawyer. They quit. They quit, like, what, just a few weeks ago. So this guy, he just hired this guy. So, <laughs> oh, my gosh. Because, see, the other lawyers, they know. They're like, okay, yeah. Mm -mm. So this lawyer is like, okay, okay, I have a dummy. I have a dummy in my hand. I have this criminal. I have this freaking monster. Yeah, I'm going to take him for all he's got. <laughs> so he says the feds are just looking to take down Diddy because he's a successful black man. And when they couldn't nail him for anything related to taxes or his business empire, they started poking around in his bedroom. Really? So the feds are going inside Diddy's bedroom because they don't like the way he's having sex okay really so oh my god this look i don't even think the lawyer believes everything that he is saying he's a lawyer so he is desperate he is he's saying anything and everything and he should know that's not going to we the public we can't help diddy okay it's up to the jurors and the judge okay so him Pleading his case to us, <laughs> like lying, it's not about SEX. The guy was trafficking women, men, and God knows, they said underage. Yeah, underage, underage people as well, okay? And he was... D R U G G I N G ing them. Okay? He forced them. He forced them to have S E X with him, with other people. He was having orgies with dozens of people. Like at the same time, these parties lasted for days. Okay? He was holding people hostage. Okay? This is these are all crimes. So what the heck is he talking about? Oh, these were intimate stuff between Cassie and him. What about all these other victims that he all worded in the studio and hotels and his homes? Are you kidding me? And his parties. These are criminal activities. This is not about his personal SEX life. These are crimes he has committed. 
So this lawyer is full of it. Again, he doesn't believe what he's saying. He's a desperate lawyer right now. He's desperate. He don't know what to do. He's so, like, this guy just want to be famous. This guy is in documentary, just running his mouth. Lying about Costco, Diddy buying oils uh, 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 in bulk. When Costco came out and said, we don't even sell baby oils. <laughs> So this guy, he's either sabotaging Diddy because he doesn't care. He's getting paid no matter what. That's why Diddy just hired two new lawyers because I'm sure he sees it. If I can see it, I'm sure he's like, what the F? <laughs> what the F? You know? So, yeah, that's why he hired two new lawyers. The two new lawyers are Anthony Rico and Alexandra Shapiro. Uh, Tony is known as one of the finest trial lawyers in the country, they say. And Alexandra has been called one of the best lawyers practicing today. So, yeah, they can be great and all. But this case is so, so bad that even the biggest lawyers will lose this case okay so but listen if they're smart they'll just hey just take the money <laughs> like uh mark uh agnifilo is doing because mark don't give a damn you cannot tell me this guy gave a damn. This lawyer, Mark, does not care. He just wants fame. He's everywhere. He's being interviewed. <laughs> he wants to be a celebrity. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's like now he's bringing, bringing out the black card. That's how you know you're desperate. When now it's like... And then the thing is, he doesn't even look convincing. When he was saying all that, you could tell he was just like, okay... Let me just let me just throw this race card in there. <laughs> Black people are gonna gonna be like, yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. <laughs> oh my gosh, that it was the worst ever. Like really? So he didn't do these crimes. We didn't see him on video beating up Cassie like like she was a piece of. Oh my gosh, like she was trash. The way he did her. And that's nothing. That video did not show us everything. So much worse. Okay? So, now, ugh, this lawyer, he's so draining. I'm done. I'm done. I've said enough. This lawyer is either sabotaging Diddy or he's having such a hard time with the case and he's like, F it. <laughs> Because, no, you can't be a top-notch lawyer and you're running your mouth this much and you're lying. And then even the lies are just so blatant. It's just, it's bad. It's bad. So this lawyer don't care. Okay, this lawyer don't care. He's getting richer by the day. <laughs> he doesn't care. He's making his money every day. Every day he goes see Diddy, he's making his money. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, this guy, yeah, I don't know. I just noticed all the mistakes that he's been making, and I'm like, what the heck? But, hey, Diddy's a monster, so he's going to lose regardless, you know, whether the lawyer is great or not. Diddy's case is so bad, and Diddy is such a monster. He is going to do life in prison so now with these two new lawyers he's going they're saying that he's going to try again for a third bail package so in his next court date i believe is october 9th so we're gonna see what happens um yeah you guys so what are your thoughts on diddy and his lawyer mark agnifilo do you think he's like chasing fame <laughs> oh my gosh uh, is he convincing? <laughs> uh, yeah, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.